Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about Introduction to Robotic Framework. <clears throat> Basically, this robotic framework is a generic test automation framework for acceptance testing. Basic this one is accepting automation testing. Okay and basically in the market we have n number of testing frameworks available unit testing mbdd or ttd etc there are a lot of uh, testing frameworks we have but basically uh, when we can able to say like accepting testing basically this is done by end user or like customer or users they are doing they don't know much knowledge on programming side right for them purpose they are introduced for robotic framework that is supporting as a in build of accepting automation testing okay it will support a t t a t d d means a t t d means a t d d it will support by default it is like accept acceptance test driven development okay this is by default you will support this one ATDD okay and it is internally supports the keyword driven testing framework it will support keyword driven testing approach by default it will support keyword driven and also it is a like a keyword events means of the keys we can able to use it uh, defined keywords also presented default keywords are also presented we can use that keywords and we can able to implement your code that robotic framework it inbuilts it will support for keyword driven framework it supports more libraries for keywords and if you want to create your own like a user defined libraries that we can able to create and also if you want to invite any new keyword library for the robotic framework that we can able to develop using java python any programming and you can able to take it and also you don't want a much programming language to learn this pro robotic framework you need a basic things how we need to use that particular keywords that you have to learn if you learn how you can able to take it that keywords to implement on your programming side that is the best thing to know that if you know then you can able to do for automation for robotic framework that is the one thing okay this is all about introduction for robotic framework we can able to see that how we can able to set how we can able to use our keywords default keywords user defined keywords that we can able to learn for next video sessions okay that's all about this video thank you and don't forget to make it for some comment on this video please do the comments then only i can able to make it for more videos and more quality and more uh, description about that. Thank you.